In August of 2023, we used Disney Vacation Club points for a one-night stay in a Kilimanjaro Club Concierge-level studio room in Jambo House at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. Now, we published a video earlier this year about staying in Jambo House, so check that out if you would like more details about the resort itself and the value studio room that we stayed in at that time. In this video, we're focusing on the concierge lounge located on the sixth floor of Jambo House, which provides food and beverage offerings for guests staying in concierge level rooms. We've only stayed on this level once before, and this time we lucked out and got the room closest to the buffet area. I forgot to get a picture of the room number, but it's the first room at the beginning of the hallway. We arrived during the safari snacks period and one of the cast members provided us with tall glasses of pog juice and we helped ourselves to some afternoon snacks. We noticed a couple of improvements that they made since our previous stay last year, one of which is the little baggies they provide for you to create your own trail mix to take with you to the parks if you're so inclined, and bottles of soda instead of the cans that they used to stock in the beverage cooler. I remembered the delicious decaf cappuccino I made last year with their fancy espresso maker, and I was looking forward to another one the next morning. They also have lemonade, iced, and hot tea out, as well as ice cream all day long in a little tabletop freezer. After our snacks, we went into our room and to our delight found that we could see a sliver of the savanna and we did catch a glimpse of a few animals out there. This room was pretty similar to our value studio that we stayed in in April, but we could tell it was bigger than that room and it also had a separate closet. The toilet slash shower room is identical to the value studio and there isn't any night light in here either. The little kitchenette was also the same as the value studio, as well as the decor and rug in the combination living room, bedroom area. We really liked this room, and we would definitely request it for another stay due to the convenient location and fun view. We really love that our Animal Kingdom DVC points give us access to the concierge level benefits, but we actually booked this room just a few months ago without using the booking priority. But to be safe, we did book another concierge stay for next July using the 11 month priority. We use concierge to just slow down in the summer and enjoy the resort. Which means we popped out of our room right at 5 p.m. to enjoy the twilight offerings at the buffet area. And I really ended up lucking out with the hot bites provided for this night. If you saw our Animal Kingdom Lodge video from April, you'll know that I said I would come back to eat at Boma just to have the sweet corn pudding again. I couldn't believe that that was what they were serving.
I enjoyed a few of these, and it was just as good as I remembered. Well, I'm embarrassed to say that I didn't get any video of the evening indulgences portion of Concierge, which includes a selection of desserts, and that runs from 8 p.m. until 10 p.m. Here is a shot of the treat plate we brought back to our room, though, and I really enjoyed the little tarts and vanilla cream cones. As it turned out, the night we stayed happened to be an extended evening hours at Epcot for Disney Deluxe Resort guests, so we again threw our plan of a resort-only stay out the window. We were going to hop on the bus, but the wait time for the next bus was over 20 minutes, so we decided to drive over instead. The crowds seemed to be heading out at a little after 9 p.m., and we were able to enjoy a low wait for Frozen Ever After, and we just took a fun walk around the park. We always browse the Connection Store on the way out to take a gander at new merchandise. We stayed to just about closing time at 11 p.m. and then drove back to Animal Kingdom Lodge. The concierge lounge was closed, but it was nice to see that there were still a couple of ice cream bars and sodas left. One thing to be aware of is that they do provide a filtered water station here, but not bottled water. You can ask for bottles of water from the concierge hosts, but they only give out 8 ounce bottles, so we bring our own when we stay. Anyway, we split a Mickey bar and called it a night. The breakfast buffet starts at 7 a.m. and is open until 10.30 a.m. I have to say this was a really excellent spread, and I think it's one of the best aspects of staying concierge level, whether you need a hearty breakfast before heading out to the theme parks or you're lingering on your balcony. This bacon and Swiss boboti egg dish was delicious. As were the pecan cinnamon buns there on the left. We took a few with us when we went to Typhoon Lagoon, and they were the perfect post-swim snack. We ended up checking out before heading over to Typhoon Lagoon, but that wasn't the end of our concierge stay. We were given a key card at the front desk to access the lounge for the remainder of the day. That's right, we technically got two days of concierge lounge access with a one night stay. This was how it worked when we stayed anyway, so you should check with the resort to see if that is still the policy if you want to enjoy the lounge the next day. We live just an hour and a half away, so we got to enjoy the afternoon snacks and treats again before driving home. Thank you for watching, and subscribe to our channel to find more Paradise Today.